Hey, who's on that horse? <laughs> Hi, right, thanks for watching today. I want to talk about this new sculpture that was unveiled on Friday from uh, New York Times. Gehinde Wiley's Times Square Monument, that's no Robert E. Lee. The sculpture of an African-American man in streetwear and mounted on a horse was unveiled Friday and will eventually move to Richmond, Virginia, home to a number of Confederate monuments. The sculpture, called Rumors of War, is Gehinde Wiley's first work of public art and is the first major piece since his portrait of President Obama. Now, those of you who have been with my channel since the beginning, <laughs> okay, you haven't, but my most popular video that I ever did was on the Obama portrait by Kahinda Wiley. Uh, it was about three months after I started making videos, got 50,000 views, my most viewed video that I've ever made. I would hope to reach that again someday. If you share my videos, perhaps that'll happen. Often, what determines how great an artist is isn't how good their art is. It's how good the hype around their art is. And Kahinde Wiley has this down. He is one of the most hyped artists, and he really understands that facet of the art community. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with his art, often what uh, Kahinde will do is he will take a classical piece of art and, and redo it in a modern way. For example, he might take a Renaissance painting of Napoleon on a horse, right? And he will redo it with a really bright, colorful background. And instead of Napoleon, it will be of a young, black, gay man. And that's often what he will do. He tends to concentrate on posing... Uh, men of color in effeminate ways. That's what he does mainly, uh, although he does do portraits of famous people such as uh, rappers and also President Obama. And back to the times. Rumors of War, Mr. Wiley's largest sculpture to date, at a towering 27 feet high and 16 feet wide, was inspired by the heroic equestrian statues of Confederate generals in Richmond, Virginia, that line its famous Monument Avenue. As the sculpture leaves Times Square in December, it will be permanently installed in Richmond on Arthur Ashe Boulevard, a major thoroughfare recently renamed after the Richmond-born African-American tennis icon that crosses Monument Avenue. Today, he said, we say yes to something that looks like us. We say yes to inclusivity. We say yes to broader notions of what it means to be an American. And while <laughs> that is true, what he is doing is he's getting attention. He's getting hype. He's getting this attention and hype from essentially trolling. That's what he's doing. And that's what he's really good at doing. He knows that by putting a young guy in streetwear posed in the same way as a Confederate general and then actually having it installed in Charlottesville is going to rile up a whole bunch of people. And that's one of the things with art, is you're supposed to rile up people. You're supposed to be provocative, and that's exactly what he's doing. Now, to anyone that's upset with what he's doing, I, I don't know what to tell you. Who cares? It's a, it's a piece of art. In the same way, right, I would say to the people that are upset about other statues, uh, you know, it's a piece of art. Who cares? But that's just my take. You know, I should probably have a different take because technically, I guess I'm from Gulfport, Mississippi, although I don't ever remember being there. As a Southern man myself, I guess I should be offended by this uh, guy recasting Confederate statues. But yeah, I don't care. I, I kind of think it's funny. Now, I understand if you don't think that it's funny, we can all have different opinions about art. And that's one of the awesome things about art is we can have different opinions on it. And you know what? It's not as serious as so many other topics in life. But tell me, what do you think about this new statue that's going to be installed in Charlottesville, Virginia? Let me know in the comments. Peace. Peace.